Wow, what is this? It's a um, FMS Pit Special, 1400 millimeters. Whoa. Big one. We're looking at this aircraft from FMS. It's the uh, Pitts. Quite a large aircraft and also one hell of a big box. And we're going to try and evaluate it and uh, say would we buy it or wouldn't we buy it. Uh, yeah, Hobby Man have provided it so uh, we're quite privileged to uh, have quite a nice uh, kit to put together. So what was your first impression as you uh, took it out of the car? Well, first impressions of the box. It it looked like an ugly plane on the photo. As soon as we opened up the packaging, the wow factor, the quality of the plane was excellent. Um, everything was big. It looked sturdy. As we pulled bits apart, uh, we were amazed by the quality. So that's what it, our first impressions were. It's not really a build, is it? It's more just an assembly. More of an assembly, yeah. And you'll easily get it done in half a day. Yeah, the only thing we did over the top that's not in the instructions is we actually put some water base varnish over it. We just find it keeps it a little bit more resilient to uh, hand marks and uh, it's going to just uh, take care of that foam a little bit better. Yeah. Um, but there were some interesting observations in the way it actually went together, the way the uh, control systems worked. Yeah, well the rudder has got a push and pull system um, and where they connect to the actual servos it's a grub screw um, which holds it on there nice and tight um, and they're really sturdy. Being a biplane, even though it's quite big, the storage is not a, a major issue, is it? You can handle it alright. Yeah, well you've got one wing on top of the other so it shortens the wingspan a bit even though you've got the uh, big plane. Um, so storage is no trouble. We were able to fit it in the car, alright? Yep. Alright, so then go to flying. Um, again, you were the uh, test pilot, so uh, uh, what were your first impressions? We had Adam with us from uh, Hobby Man uh, to supervise the day. That was good. <laughs> Although he's uh, mode one, we're mode two, but that's fine. So he never got a shot. So flying it, uh, really, really nice. I, I barely had to trim it uh, and flew beautifully from the start. So just watching it, my observation was that I uh, got a phenomenal climb rate. Yeah. Uh, it looked very scalish in the air for a pits. Um, the manoeuvres, rolls, loops, um, stalls, stall turns, uh, held a good straight line, didn't seem to have any problem with inverted flight. Um, so it looked a really tidy model in the air. How did you find that extra weight? Well, the extra weight gave it extra stability. So we flew it in a bit of wind um, and it handled that fine. As with the other models, because uh, they're lighter, you get a bit... Uh, knocked around because of the wind but this one handled it great and for orientation uh, it's a big white uh, aircraft with uh, red wingtips and a uh, large undercarriage so orientation wise it was great. Yeah and then one final comment on landing um, it has got a lot of um, aerolon surface compared to the total wing area so that did uh, have to be taken into consideration on landing, didn't it? Mm. So once you're on landing, you don't necessarily need to touch your ailerons. You just hold the wings level and use the rudder. Yeah, and I think, uh, again, as an observation on landing, you seem to be able to slow it down by pulling the nose up and there was no tendency for it to uh, drop a wing or stall, uh, providing you didn't use those ailerons. Yeah, well, with the biplane um, configuration, you get a lot of uh, ground effect under those wings uh, and it holds it really stable. Uh, also with those wings you got a lot more drag so you can slow it down um, and because of the weight it also had inertia so you could bring the nose up without stalling it. Okay, so uh, one final uh, bit. Um, we did recently buy the, um, uh, the Rockstar from uh, Multiplex uh, which was around about the same budget. Again, a more expensive model, you know, around the $500. Um, so I guess, Bryce, you've flown them both. Uh, what was your feelings? Uh, which would you prefer? Well, the Rockstar, it's more of a 3D uh, biplane, so you need to have a bit of experience to fly that. Uh, it's smaller, so it also fits in the car relatively easy, and storage is a, isn't a trouble. Um, then the pits, like I said, it was a bit more stable than the Rockstar, more of a scale flyer. Um, but they're both awesome planes, and if it was my choice, um, I'd buy one 
and a, a little later I'd buy the, uh, buy the other one, so I'd end up with both of them. <laughs> All right, well, there's our comments. So uh, if we give it uh, marks out of 10 uh, for value, I guess that's it. So value in um, what you get, the strength, um, how long it's likely to last in its durability, stand up to landing on paddocks, uh, and then the fun of flying it. Um, where do you give it out of 10 for the uh, FMS pits? Well, I'm a pretty harsh marker, um, but I'd give it a 9.5 to a 10 out of 10. So you it were pretty awesome. impressed? Yeah, I was impressed by it. Okay, well, it uh, looks like um, we're going to have a bit of fun with that model. And uh, maybe we'll get Adam on to uh, mode 2 so he can have a go too. All right, okay. Uh, enjoy. Thank you.